Hi there, how are ya? Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. How are you tonight? All right, so I'm gonna get everything lined up and we're gonna get this show on the road. How's that sound? Yeah? Good. Glad to hear it, cause that's what we're doing. Somebody's gotta be the leader around here. I guess I'll be it, huh? If somebody else wants to take it, let me know. <laughs> I'm just teasing ya. I'm happy to do it most days. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So I'm gonna wait here for just a half a second and let people come on and see what's going on. So yeah, I'm trying to see if my thing will stop spinning. So I'll make sure we have good connection and all that kind of stuff. So, give me half a sec, half a sec, half a sec. So, let's see here. I think we're set and ready to go. Let me get a sip of Coke and we will be on the road and ready. Alrighty, so, without anything else, how are ya? So, I am... Um, before I do any housekeeping and announcements and all that kind of stuff, I gotta tell you something, okay? So, without breaking any confidentiality or anything else, I had a friend that's been on my mind and I um, texted her real quick and I said, hey, just, you're on my mind, I don't know why. So she called me and she says, hey, I've been going through a lot of stuff, I didn't wanna burden you, I know you're busy. Um, yeah, so I had helped with a similar situation before and knew a couple tips and tricks on some things. And what I want to say is don't ever feel like you're burdening me, okay? If I don't have time, I won't answer the phone. It's just that simple. Um, just know that I will respond as quickly as I am able to. But just like you, I have a life, I have a family, I have a dog, you know, all the stuff with life. But I will get to you, I promise. Um, if I forget, which happens occasionally, call me back. <laughs> Thank you, Penny, for doing that, by the way. Um, it doesn't happen often, but every once in a blue moon, things happen. So, I just want to tell you, I'm here for you. Because this crafty family, this is why we're together, is to make impact. Sometimes that's with each other. So I want to remind you of that. Do not feel like you are burdening me or somebody else. They'll tell you. Trust me. Um, but don't feel like you are. Okay? I want you to know that you're part of a family. And that's what family does. A good functioning family. Because, yes, we can say otherwise, but we're not going to. Are we? So... Just want to say I'm here. Um, am I here all the time? No, because I have my own stuff, but I am here. So if you need something, holler. Definitely. I may not be the one to fix it, but I might know somebody in the 400 of you that does something like that. Okay? So use me as a resource. Don't expect me to fix it, but definitely use me as a resource. Okay? Um, I haven't worked this hard, been around this long to sit here and have it just soak, okay? Um, so I just wanted to get that off my chest. All right, so without anything else, um, the housekeeping stuff, the fun stuff, everything is Rosie Mendley, which is 80 bucks. Yes, it's 80 because it comes with the stamps. It comes with the dies. It comes with embellishments. It comes with Two different packs of paper. I'm trying to remember what else. I'm probably missing a few other things. Anyways, the pack is a pretty hefty pack and it's worth every penny of it. So if you want it, it's only good in May, okay? It's a limited thing. It is still in stock though. Um, let's see, what else do I need to talk to you about? Trimmer blades, ha! Huh. So trimmer blades were in stock for literally 45 minutes. Yesterday or day before? I don't remember. Sorry, it's been kind of a blur. I think it was Tuesday. Um, there was no email sent out like they said they were going to do because they came and stopped and people figured it out before they could even notify me. So, 
I happen to be lucky and I happen to key in the little code for trimmer blades and guess what? It worked instead of saying out of stock, do you want me to email you? So um, I got a whole bunch. So if you need one or two packs, please let me know because now they're on back order till July again. So please let me know. I do have a couple spares that are not accounted for yet. Um, let's see, what else? The VIP invite will be going out by the end of this week. It is on the 18th from 10 to 1. There will be some special things, some giveaways, some new stuff, some sample packs, and it will be awesome. No, I don't know what I'm cooking yet, um, but we will get there. So there's that. I do what I know what I'm making for projects and all that kind of stuff, but those will be announced with the invite. Um, on the 25th, if you are not considered a VIP out of the 34, 35 that I have, um, yes, it's a privilege, but if you are not considered a VIP on the 25th, I will have a catalog open house and that invite will be going out shortly as well. Um, yes, it will be a different project for my VIPs, but, um, honestly, you will have your catalog. So it just depends on what you want to do. So let's see what else. Um, I've got a couple parties coming up. The invites will be coming out shortly. Um, let's see. Tonight is the deadline for like literally in 20 minutes for RSVPs or reserve seats for Saturdays card class so please let me know if you're interested quickly like text me I have it on airplane mode you'll be fine um let's see what else um new catalog starts June 4th the BOGO sale will is already going on and will run up until the night of June 3rd and I think that is enough to cram into your head how about you so without anything else we are going to create how's that sound sounds awesome to me so that's what we're doing okay so hold on a minute, we're gonna go for a little ride. Hi Nanette, how are you? Nance, I'm so glad that worked. I, I saw that it was delivered, so I figured it was okay. So awesome, good, I'm glad it, it worked out. You just never know, do ya? So, alrighty. So for tonight, we are going to be doing some stamping with some white craft ink and some embossing with clear embossing powder. And we're also going to be coloring some ribbon. Okay? So that is what we are looking at. And we will get it going. Okay, so. Mm, I am not even here. Hold on just a half a second. I am so sorry, you guys. I just realized that I am totally slanted and things would be a little cattywampus. All right, so for tonight, we are going to be doing some creating. So I'm just going to be moving some things for just a second here. Give me a half a second, literally. So this is the stamp set from last month's Paper Pumpkin. It's a distinctive set. This is some ribbon that we already did. See, I've gotten a little bit ahead, but not a lot. So you'll still be fine. Okay, so I've got two cards that we're going to do tonight because I'm learning to be efficient, okay? I'm learning, I'm learning. And sometimes it takes me a little bit longer than other days. We're just going to say it that way, okay? So I am grabbing my distinctive. Now, I would not always recommend to... Um, how do I say this? To um, emboss with this. So we're gonna see how this comes out. It might be a disaster. We'll see. I don't know. And it's okay. All right. So. Ah, Nanette, if you ever need tips, honey, you just let me know, okay? That's all there is to it. You tell me what you got and what you need, okay? You're pretty capable, though. <laughs> so, I saw your painting. You're pretty capable. Alrighty, so, for this, I have got Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green reversed for mats, okay? And obviously different sizes, but, you know, it's what it is and it will be just fine. Alright, so, 
Um, here's the tip for you, and I already put this on one of the pages, and I can't remember if this was the team page or the Facebook page. So, whatever. All right, so with this, the white ink pad, right? The infamous that doesn't come already inked. When you're doing this, make sure you do not put more ink than you need to. And what I mean by this is figure out how big your stamp is and only ink the portion of the pad that you need to. Do not ink the entire thing because you're just going to be wasting ink, okay? So for me, I'm doing this rose, right? So I'm going to be doing half of the pad, but not this other half because I don't need it, frankly. So, okay? And yes, I'm going to let that soak for just a minute because I was a little bit um, ambitious. We're just going to say it that way. So, so in the meantime, I'm going to get my embossing powder done. I don't know if you guys have embossed before, so we're going to do that tonight. And um, make sure to have your embossing buddy. If you don't have your embossing buddy, use a used, used, and I'm going to say this again, used, dryer sheet, okay? Because if it's fresh, then guess what happens? All those chemicals go onto your paper and you don't want that, okay? So you're gonna grab your embossing buddy and I'm just gonna tap. See the chalk residue there? So I'm just gonna tap and this takes out the um, static, okay? So there you go. Just that simple. And then if you have the used dryer sheet, you're just going to rub it across. So, alrighty, so we've got that. I'm going to move my mats here. And then um, I'm going to let that soak in for just a second longer. So I'm going to actually move this to the side. Improvise, right? Okay. So I'm going to show you how this is done instead. So you're going to want to grab your blends, not your markers. Okay. And when you do this, you're going to want to make sure to not be in the middle because it's gonna bleed through and it's okay. Got it? But what you're gonna do is just color this, okay? I'm using the light um, Bermuda Bay before I used the dark one and I didn't like the fact that it was super, super dark, like really quick. So I'm just gonna use this one. Now, it does dry so you won't have inky fingers, at least with this, when you're tying your bows and all that kind of stuff, but you will want to um, leave it set for just about a minute or so and let it dry, okay? So there we go with that. Hi, Cheryl, how are you, honey? Um, so, so we've got that. I'm just gonna trim that so I don't have a big old spool sitting in the middle of my table, okay? So, Cheryl, you came a tiny bit late. That's okay, by the way. The only reason I'm telling you is because I'm going to recap a tiny bit. We talked about giving back and how important it is to be a part of the family. And then we talked about the Rose Medley. Um, everything rosy being on sale only through May. And I don't know what else, honey. But we're going to get there. Ah, well, non dismiss. My alarm's going off. I'm sorry. I forgot again, just like last week. Okay, so, so we've colored the ribbon. I'm actually gonna stamp the mats in regular colors because I'm still waiting for that to sink in a tiny bit. I should have done it ahead, but I wanted to show you. Okay. Oh well. So, I'm just going to move these a tiny bit. <laughs> and I'm going to get my white piece because that's what we're doing it on. And I'm going to grab my Bermuda Bay. couple tips for you. If your ink pad is too juicy, the details will not come out when you're stamping with the distinctive sets. So there's a couple ways you can go around this. Okay. One is you can grab a pad that's not quite so juicy. See how that pops out though? The other thing you can do, excuse my arm, sorry guys. Um, the other thing you can do is grab a clear block. Ah, 
the skinny one. Where is it? I'm losing it. That's okay. All right, so you're going to grab the skinny block and you're literally just going to gently push the ink to one side and see if that helps. Okay. If you don't want to do that, because personally I don't want to scrape along my, um, my ink pad. It just scares me. I'll be honest with you. Um, so what I would do instead is grab a sponge dauber and ink. Hi, Lise. How are you? So, um, that's my personal choice. This is Granny Apple Green. Lace, you will be glad to hear that Lemon Lime Twists is finally in the basket for retirement. I know that was your favorite color, but I'm just messing with you. Okay? So, um, so I've just got those two stamped. And you can see how that detail just pops. Okay? So you want your pads to still be juicy, but there's like a sweet spot in it. I'll be honest with you. All right, so we've got that. That has hopefully soaked in enough, honestly, if it hasn't by now. Too bad, because I want it to work already. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be like that. Ah, you know what? I should have stamped a happy birthday. Ah, that's going to be on the finished card. Forget it. Okay, got it. So we're just going to tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to try to spread this out a little bit, because I noticed that I've got some seriously juicy parts. Okay, so I'm going to stamp off on my scrap and try to get things a little bit more evened out because I don't like it when it doesn't look good, <laughs> for lack of better terms. Okay, I've already got my embossing powder ready to go. I've already taken the static out of my paper and I'm just going to stamp a few of these. Okay, now the big tip was to make sure that you don't put the ink all over the entire pad. But you do have to remember where you did what, so that way you don't end up trying to ink where there isn't any. I know, simple things, but honestly it can be pretty major when you're trying to remember. So, I don't assume anything, and honestly on a bad night I wouldn't remember anyways. So, I am just going to get this powder going. And I'm using my clear powder, if you're curious. I need to order some more, it looks like. Put that on the list. We will get it, won't we? Of course. And then these little trays, you can just get at any craft store. Um, yes, I did get them when Stampin' Up! had them, but not anymore, unfortunately. So, you just want to get to that other place I'm not going to mention. Okay? If you don't want to buy a tray, you can also use a cheapy paper plate or, you know, there's other options. Piece of um, copy paper works. There's all kinds of different things, but they don't have the built-in funnel, so you just got to pick what which battle you want to face. So, just going to get this back in the tray here, okay? And I'm going to stamp a couple more. <laughs> I figured you would say, yeah, no more lemon lime twist, huh? All right, so I'm going to stamp a couple more here and just get this rolling. Okay. So. And. Okay. Now, one thing with the craft ink, because I'm obviously not embossing my entire mat, you want to make sure to either fold or flip over after you're done because that craft ink, when it's not embossed, is not ever going to dry. And I say that with pretty much confidence because one year I tried to do Christmas cards and I didn't know I had to emboss it. And guess what happened? Two weeks later, they were still wet. So you want to make sure to do what you need to do and get your stuff embossed. So that way you don't end up with wet stuff two weeks later that's still smearing, okay? So that's what you need to do to accomplish craft ink or pigment ink, depending on what company and what we're doing. We only have the white craft ink. We used to have a lot more. And there's a reason that we don't have as much as we used to because it's 
it's good, but it can be difficult to use. Okay, so I'm going to just heat these real quick with my heat gun. You want to hold it about two to three inches away from the paper so you don't burn the paper. You also want to hold the opposite corner so you don't burn yourself. And you also want to pay attention to what you are heat embossing on because if you have a wood table, you could very easily scar it or scorch it, okay? So this is a really, really hot heat gun. Um, so you want to make sure to be careful with where you're heating, okay? Notice I'm holding it up. I don't want to melt my tablecloth because it is a plastic backed tablecloth. Um, so just a couple heads up with that. So not a problem, okay? So we're gonna hold this and we're gonna flip. Now notice, ooh, that's still pretty hot. Hold on a second. We're gonna let that air out for a half a sec. All right, so notice when I am embossing, I'm putting the heat there, and notice that the crystals, because that's what embossing powder is, is little crystals that melt, kind of melts and goes together. Notice how it gets more shiny? I hope you guys can see that, but if not, trust me. So what will happen is the feel of it will go from individual crystals to a melted, um, all together block for lack of better terms. Okay. Forgive me for not the technical, but, um, it'll be smooth instead of, um, very crystal kind of feeling. Okay. So, you know, you've done a good job with the heating when it looks slick to the touch. And then afterwards you can touch it after it cools but you don't want to touch it if you haven't done a good job on heating it because then your finger will take away the powder and then you won't have that, okay? That works too. That old Tupperware definitely works, but I go through it so fast, Nana, that I just keep it in the jar it comes in, so not a problem. Do whatever works for you. I know a lot of people do a big old Tupperware container and then they have like a plastic spoon in there so you can kind of spoon it over the project and it falls right back in the case or the container as you go. So there's all kinds of different ways to do it. It just depends on how your brain works. <laughs> Hopefully it's working today. I know the feeling though. All right, so let me get that across there, okay? And I'm actually going to take a second and flip this because I don't want any of my white ink. Excuse me for a second. I don't want any of my white ink to um, get on the rest of my card. Okay. So I am going to grab my card base and I'm going to grab my other and my snail. And I'm going to grab my Bermuda Bay, and that's going to be my outer mat. Okay. And let's see here. Hopefully that's centered. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? Okay. All right, and then I'm going to figure out my top and bottom. And hey, look, that's just going to go over that, just like that. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So let's see, do I have glue dots out or have I packed for class already? That's what happens when I'm so efficient. Yeah, I already packed them. Okay, we're gonna make it up and figure it out. All right, so we're gonna see if snail works, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Especially with embossing, you usually want to do um, your glue dots, but for right at this second, guess what? We're running with what we got and gonna keep going because I don't wanna stop and figure out where they went, okay? Sometimes it's necessity over everything else, right? Okay, so I'm just trimming those ends so they don't reach end to end. And I'm gonna stick this on here, okay? And we're gonna stick this on here, yay, okay. Kind of 
cool, right? It's coming together. Yay! Okay. Yes, I can be like that. I like to cheer for just about everything because, hello, if you don't, you end up just being grumpy, right? All right, so this one's an opposite, so we're going to grab this, and we're going to grab this guy, and I think I'm going to run this right here. You want to make sure to go far enough because if you don't, you're going to end up with that end that bleeds, so you don't want that, right? Okay, so I'm going to run this here and hope and pray it stays stuck. Okay, and notice it coordinates just perfect. Yay! So, one of the things I would tell you is when you're ordering, you want to probably make sure that you have this metallic white ribbon. The gold edged ribbon has a vanilla base to it. And the silver one has a white, okay? So if you want a true color instead of a more vintage color, you will want to buy the silver one that has the white instead of the vanilla base or the off-white, okay? So I'm just going to fussy cut super quick. You can do a better job when you're taking your time, but I don't want you to sit here and watch me take my time so we're just gonna get it done and some days you just have to say get it done as Fran used to say better done than perfect yes better done than perfect was her saying and sometimes it's just get it in the mailbox right because a card sitting in your drawer is not gonna make any kind of impact is it well it might make your face happy but not for the intended person. We'll just say it that way, right? So, I'm just gonna trim this out really quick. Um, if you have any questions on the BOGO list, please let me know. Um, if you wanna know if something's still available, let me know, I probably should update my list, but I haven't yet. Because, my gosh, it was like 12 pages or something. It was a lot to get done. And I kind of felt accomplished just getting it done, minus the updates. So, right at the moment, we're going to take our chances because that was a lot to do. I will be honest with you, it was a lot for me. It took me like four days to list it all out. So, alrighty, so I am going to cut here. The best thing for sticky scissors, because I noticed my scissors are starting to get sticky, is um, Goo Gone. Um, I also noticed that Walmart has a little jar of it, like, about like that. Um, I think it's like three or four ounces. But for the same price or a tiny bit more, there's like a whole big jug of it at Harbor Freight. So make sure to every once in a while poke your nose in the hardware stores and see what kind of deals they have. Because you'll often be able to get stuff like that way cheaper. And, well, you'll be happy because then you could buy more stamps, right? Okay, there's my plug. We're done now. Okay, so I am just going to grab these dimensionals off. Make sure that when you're doing this, you have it right side up, but make sure that you may make sure to poke the backs off. Oh. Okay. Got it? Because if you don't peel them, they won't stick. I know, it's the simple things that get you, isn't it? Alrighty, so here are my, which way does this go? Here are my two cards. I don't know if I'll add any bling, since I have a little oops right there, I might add some bling, but those are my two cards. So, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for following me tonight. To follow me further, stampingwithjohnny.com. Oh, Nanette, if you're still on with me, honey, happy birthday soon. I sent you a card. So, um, let's see. What else? I think that's all for tonight. I think we've gone much, much, much longer than we normally do. <laughs> Sorry I was talkative. So, without anything else, I will say good night. And I gotta go cook dinner again. They still get hungry, right? Oh my gosh. So, stampingwithjohnny.com, and thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Jode, how are you, honey? 
Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.